Hi everybody, Matt Fryer here, and today's video is all about getting out of these dreaded bunkers first time. So, thanks for joining me down here at Formby Ladies Golf Club. If you are new to the channel, do think about hitting that subscriber button because there is content coming each week, two videos to help you improve your golf and get better throughout your golfing journey. So like we say, this video is designed to help us get out of these bunkers one of the problems that I tend to hear from my lessons and even sort of mentioning bunkers sometimes is oh, no 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 you know if I go in them it could take three or four and I end up throwing it out and my bunker play is just atrocious we'll fix everything else before we start to fix my bunker play which to me is a bit of a problem you know if you're out on the golf course you can't really avoid them at every single time you can't guarantee it so even if we're able to go in one and then just get it back out onto you know the green or just out around the fringe or even a fairway bunker just out instead of getting the ones where i would imagine if i reel a few off you know the fat one that's a couple of feet in front of us the thinned into the face or the thinned quickly over the green if we can stop that shot and just see that we're hitting you know a half decent bunker shot but like i say the main priority is to get it out of the bunker then we'll be a lot happier and we should see that our scores come down. So, like I say, one of the shots that I tend to hear about is the fat one, the thinned one, and that one that goes racing across the green quite a lot, or the one into the face. And the reasoning for this is, as we know, and as you can see here now, we're faced with a bit of a lip on this bunker. So, that lip's at my belt height, which is about three foot high. So, you know, it's a bit higher than the level we are. So all of a sudden the theory of trying to get it up in the air comes into play, thinking I've got to get this ball up, so I must help it get up. So when we start to do that, very much like the iron theory, as we see, you know, if you've watched any of the other videos, when we start to try and help the ball up, we get into the ground a little bit early, or we get the one where we're up above it and we get the thin shot. So obviously here in the bunker, like the like the grass but to a greater extent if you do go behind too much you will get the club burying in even more and the sand just sucks and absorbs all the power that you've generated in your backswing and downswing into the sand leaving you with just a one where it's duffed a couple of feet out in front of you again if you get the one where you've leant back and thinned it you get the shot generally that is going to be hitting the wall of the bunker which we don't want so what we want to try and do and what i want you guys to try and imagine here now i'm just going to put a bit of a line in my stance here and this is just in front of center where my ball position is going to be i'm leaning a little bit more in front and what i want us to do this is in a practice bunker don't be doing this on the course i want us to have some swings where what i'm trying to do is impact the line and then make a bit of divot after it so you're going to impact the line and make a bit of divot after it. What you don't want to see is that all your divots are coming on the right-hand side for the right-handed player behind this line. Because from there now, what I'd be able to do if I could then transfer this into one of my shots, I want to take a divot that's actually underneath the golf ball. I'm not aiming to hit the golf ball in this shot. I'm actually aiming to let the club slide out underneath the golf ball. I'm gonna present the loft to it and that's gonna get it up out of the bunker. I don't need to help it up out of the bunker. So once you've gone through a few swings where you've impacted that line and taken a bit of a divot after the golf ball, then we'd try and hit one. So we've got something now where if we're understanding that I would imagine you've got a good bunker set up, there is a video on the channel for that. If not, do go and watch that one. What I want is then to present it where I'm actually going to hit under it. And then the second thing we need to be doing is actually committing to hit it. There's going to be a good pile of sand between the golf club face and the golf ball. So that's actually gonna take a lot of speed off the ball as it comes out. So even making a full swing when I'm only 15 feet away from the flag here, I can still make the full swing because it's not gonna go shooting off so much. So aim to take a divot underneath the golf ball. And then number two, that's gonna help you get out all the time is commit to actually giving it a bit of speed. Don't be scared of hitting this shot because it's gonna be okay once you impact it because there's going to be a big cloud of sand in between the ball and the club face so i'll take my setup i'm aiming to take the divot underneath the golf ball 
with a bit of speed and there out nice and cleanly i've gone a little bit too long but now i could two put that quite happily and i would make a bogey at worst instead of the one that's hit into the face of the bunker where i then have to play it out again or whatever it may be this is nice and easy so have that drill where you draw the line take the sand take the sand and then get in and then all we want to do is commit to actually hitting this shot and nice and smooth two identical shots there so all i'd need to do is take a little bit of speed off that one and it should drop a little bit short but i'm safely aboard the green so that's me job done i don't have to worry about not getting out of the bunkers again so guys, if you think this video is going to help you and you're going to see you getting out of the bunkers more frequently, hit that like button for me. And also, like I did say at the start of the video, do consider subscribing to the channel. There's tips every week to help you improve your game. Thanks also to Formby Ladies for letting us film here today. Thanks for you guys to watching and I'll see you next week with another tip to help you improve your game.